Hey there, Dr. Rob the Car Doctor here with the Car Doctor Shop in Hillsboro, Oregon. And today's uh, behind the scenes victory is a cool customer who has a 1989 Ford F-150 that was failing DEQ, running a little bit rough, loping idle, those kinds of things. So, um, and I kind of want to point, point out in this one, talk a little bit about levels of diagnostics, testing. There's a big hot topic now today about testing fees and diagnostics and how that evolves. So kind of I use these as a good example to say okay here's what I told the customer I can do probably a level two level three diagnostics and do repairs at the same time so that basically entails you doing a visual inspection and the cool part was is this system is completely uh, original you know the old uh, 5.0 liter completely computer controlled fuel injection so visual inspection looks good and got some information from the customer like a good car doctor does and they had done a tune-up recently so what i did was i double checked the tune-up stuff and one thing you have to know about these computer controlled vehicles is you must set the timing make sure the computer's out of the timing loop so i did that correct procedure it was off by about 15 degrees which is quite a bit so i set the timing correctly you know old school tune-up stuff this is a timing light that we used to use back in the day. That's kind of my nickname is OBD-1 Kenobi because I work on these older vehicles. Um, the timing was set. And then also the loping idle up and down. What happens a lot of times is these throttle bodies become really carboned up with uh, a lot of carbon and stuff. Doesn't look too bad, but believe it or not, all the air goes through that for the complete motor. So I'm gonna clean that up really good and get that nice and smooth basically use my brush and some chemical cleaner to clean the throttle plates at the idle strategy you know I, I will do some more testing as far as like what the customer is going to pay for is I'll test the idle air control valve with my cool little tool here I can turn the idle up and down this connects right to the idle speed control motor so we can test that as well but first things first you got to do the maintenance and clean the throttle plates first so I'm going to do that as well too and, and the cool part is if you explain the story to these customers, document it, you know, fellow technicians with shops, I use a digital inspection program. I use bolt-on technology. And I take pictures and tell the story and do the reps there. Because I promise you, if you do the work, take the pictures, tell the story, customers are going to say, oh, you know what? I see the value in paying for your diagnostics and repairs. So... Again, I use a digital inspection program for that. So another part of the testing and process is I actually scope the ignition system. I have a cool counselor snap-on scope and a four gas analyzer. So I'm gonna scope the ignition system, make sure that's good. And then built into this too is a four gas analyzer. So I'm gonna double check the DEQ emissions and make sure that it passes emissions. So that's another cool test. So, coming over to here, believe it or not, these motors are completely fuel injection control, computer controlled. So I was able to use this Snap-On's brick scanner, went ahead and ran some codes. Nothing spectacular, just an EGR code that uh, wasn't related to any of the other problems, so that's cool. Um, and then last but not least, I'm really big into maintenance as far as testing and repairing and including that in the service. And this is a, what's called a motor vac machine. Really cool service that you add chemicals to the fuel system. It's got its own fuel tank there. Add the motor vac fluid, very strong, powerful, does a good job. That hooks directly up to the fuel injection rail. Red is the input, black is return. I run that for about 30 minutes. That cleans out the injectors, the injector rail, the fuel pressure regulator, and not only the fuel system, but it goes down to the engine, cleans out the intake valves, the combustion chamber, goes out the goes out the exhaust, cleans out the exhaust valve, and then finally cleans up the catalytic converter. So, just to kind of wrap this behind the scenes victory up is. Uh, I really think with the timing done, cleaning the throttle body, doing the awesome motor vac service, cleaning the injectors and the rest of the system, 
double checking the scope system. I really think we're gonna get a really good victory here with a smooth running truck that's gonna fly through DEQ. So once again, kind of a just behind the scenes video on what it takes to work on OBD-1 vehicles and also the behind the scenes on the tools for the testing and diagnostics. So once again, uh, appreciate all the great feedback on my website and YouTube video about the, these videos. Get a lot of good compliments and also uh, the referral from the other shop as well. So once again, Dr. Rob with the Car Doctor Shop here in Hillsborough, Oregon, where diagnostics is alive and well, especially with OBD-1 vehicles. Okay, everybody, take care. Dr. Rob, aka OBD-1 Kenobi, over and out.